The development of the nervous system begins with gastrulation. During gastrulation, the neural plate forms from the ectoderm. The edges of the neural plate then fold inward like closing a zipper to form the neural tube. The neural tube is the precursor to the brain and spinal cord. In this video, we will follow the development of the nervous system from the closing of the neural tube to the formation of the brain and spinal cord. We will also see how neurons migrate to their final destination and how they form functional circuits. As the neural tube closes, it differentiates into three parts, the prosencephalon, which gives rise to the forebrain, and midbrain, the mesencephalon, which gives rise to the midbrain, and the rhombencephalon, which gives rise to the hindbrain and spinal cord. At the same time, cells at the periphery of the neural tube, called neural crest cells, migrate to their final destination to form peripheral nerves, ganglia, and other structures. Neurons then proliferate and migrate long distances to reach their final destination. Many of these neurons are guided by chemical signals such as SH, WNT, and retinoic acid. If gastrulation goes wrong, it can lead to serious developmental disorders such as anencephaly and spina bifida. If neuron migration fails, it can lead to other disorders such as Hirschsprung disease. This has been a summary of the development of the nervous system.